Okay, I'm going to do something I said I would never do. I am going to plaster this wall. Now I stripped off all the wallpaper, but previously this had a cork golden tiled 1970s pattern on it. And it's left, as you can see, plenty of marks. Um, it's in a really bad state. There's, there's little lumps of glue and no amount of sanding down is getting this good enough to paint because you can see the little bits so it just needs um plastering i've got a little bit more sanding to do that that was the cork like a dark cork thing around the edge you get a few screws and bits out give it a sand and then i'm going to use a product that i've just ordered that i'm going to go and collect that is the idiot's guide to plastering so we will see i'm going to go and get that now and then i'm going to show you the whole process and i will share how i get on. okay here is what i'm using it's called nalf pro roll light here it's really thick it's like the consistency of um thick cream cheese like really thick cream cheese so i poured a little bit in there i'm applying with a roller and i'm going to show you how i do it first coat is on so you roll it on in small sections then spread it out with the plastering thing down there and you can see this bit here kind of bulges a bit so it's not very flat so that's why it's like that but I'm quite happy with the coverage it doesn't look the greatest but it's pretty smooth it says don't worry about it if you get little lines on it which I most definitely have but this is the rough coat so it said, don't worry. So I'm not worrying, because I'm sure it'll be fine. So I'm gonna leave that now. It needs to dry for 12 hours, it said. So it's now nearly six, no, it's quarter past six. So I'll leave it overnight. And then tomorrow afternoon, I will have a go with the second coat. I haven't done that bit because this bit's gonna be part of the cupboard. So you won't see any of that bit. And um, we'll see how we get on. If this is good, then I might carry on down there a little bit. It looks good and look smooth i might carry on with it so that is us and i will show you again tomorrow good morning it is i think about 16 hours since i put this on and it has dried it got i went to bed quite late last night so after about six hours it was still damp in patches but it has dried and it said do not worry if there's little marks so i just sh so there's sort of little marks like this it's very uneven so they said the first one doesn't really matter. So this bulges out a little bit there. So no matter how much I tried, couldn't really get that that smooth. But in certain areas, it's quite smooth and I've got sort of a bit like this, but it's very fine. So what I'm going to do now, it says to do another coat exactly the same and then leave it. And then tomorrow it says I sand it down. So that'll be the tester. So I'm still just going to complete this bit. And then tomorrow, if it turns out amazingly, I think I might carry on up the wall. So I'm about to put on the second coat. Um, it's going quite a long way. I wrapped everything up so I can just use the same roller. Um, so I'm going to get on and do that now. So there we go, second coat is on. Definitely easier to get a little bit smoother. I also sort of did a small first coat there because I noticed some sort of bumpy bits. So I will let that dry. It's already drying here. And let's see. Okay, I did that two coats and now I've decided to carry it on. So I've gone all the way down that wall with one coat quite thinly. So I'm hoping that well, the wall wasn't too bad but it wasn't good enough to paint. So hopefully leave that to dry. I've gone all the way over the door. I've still got some left. So hopefully that'll be enough. And then if it really does sort of make it lovely and smooth, 
I think I'll carry on just sort of around the door. Uh, also put a little tiny bit on here. See what it's like with just one bit, like really thin. And then we'll see how it, um, how it turns out in the morning when I give it a bit of a sand. But I'm pretty confident I can get this looking super, super smooth. So I will update you in the morning. So it's the following morning and I have literally first thing got up very early and I've put a coat of a mist coat basically of white emulsion because I was advised that you'll be able to see any marks on the walls. So that's what I've done and that's dried really thin the crown watery paint. I'll link below the one I always use and now I'm going around sanding with my little block. I bought this from Home Bargains actually and I'm just going around looking closely for any bits that need sanding because what you're supposed to be able to do is go around and sand down the bits that aren't level so that's what i'm doing going around having a good old look um, it's actually easier with the white paint because it is showing up a little bit more and you can see here i've got these little tiny little bits that i think actually when i put the proper paint on will sort of be filled a little bit so i'm not being overly OCD with this but I am going around with this sanding block super easy to do I've got a mask on um, I'd advise as well possibly goggles because it does spray a little bit and it will go everywhere so front door is wide open and keep obviously pets and stuff away but um, I just keep hoovering after I do it so I'm just going around as you can see any bit sticking out just with my little sanding block and sanding down and it's starting to look absolutely amazing literally going around but honestly the wall is it's just transformed it. I can't rate this stuff highly enough. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to home base and just done click and collect. And I'm going to be using uh, one coat paint that I really like. And I want to put that on and then I can really try and show you how smooth the wall is. So I'm going to go and get that up, start putting that on and then I'll be able to show you the finished result. It's just a quick reminder of how bad the wall was. It had a 50 year old tile stuck to it. Couldn't get the glue off. Massive chunks out the wall. Bobbly bits. No amount of sanding was getting this any were near able to be painted uh the paint was chipping off i had it was just awful the quote was 450 quid for a plasterer who couldn't come out for weeks and i wasn't prepared to wait so as you can see here with the glue it was terrible i used half of tin of this amazing stuff so i've got half a tin left to use on another wall and i honestly think this is an absolute game changer if you're renovating an older property and just want to smooth out the walls ready for paint so without further ado here is the finished result. Here it is from this angle. So old wall is still there. It's going to come out to about here actually. So it's not the neatest on the edge. Because um, you can see a little bit here. But it's going to stop I think here. So this is super smooth. Let me just sort of zoom in a bit. Can you see the wall? How smooth that is. Let's have the paint on. It's a one coat. It will have a little bit more paint put on it I think. But um, I do really rate this one coat. I'll link it below. It's so good honestly. It makes It cuts the time in half. Um, for painting I love it and it goes on super super thick um, so there we go here is my very beautiful super smooth wall absolutely love it I am so pleased with it it looks super duper smooth I'm so glad I carried it on I will say it's quite dusty but as long as you have the door open mask on at all time at one point I did put a goggle on as well um it's absolutely amazing so for the cost of under 50 quid i've made this for super smooth love it um the light's not great here so i can't really zoom in super close but as you can see there it's just brilliant so pleased so pleased so i hope you enjoyed that please do comment in the box below if you're going to have a go please hit subscribe because i'm obviously renovating the whole of this I've got a lot of walls to patch, this one as well. This has got just a boxed in door. So once I take all this off, I'm really gonna have to try and um, fix that wall. So that'll be a separate video. That'll be a really good one. So do hit subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.